Hello, in this video we're going to solve the pangram problem. So I'm going to click on this link and I will copy and paste this command so that I will fetch all of the, pro uh, the files. And I have this boilerplate file with isPangram and we'll fill this in to solve this problem. And then here's the unit test for the pangram problem. And you can see it's expecting us to have pangram.py that it will import, and it is expecting this is pangram, which is a function. You can see it's calling it right here, and it's passing it a single string value, and it's expecting a Boolean value. We have all these assert false and assert trues right here. So let's go back to the website and look at and look at what exactly is a pangram. So a pangram is a phrase or a sentence. Really, it's going to be a string in our case that has every single letter of the alphabet at least once. So here's a really famous one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, this has every single letter of the alphabet in it. So it has the letter Z, you know, it has the letter X. It has every single letter at least once. It can have it more than once, that's fine, but it has to have every letter at least once. So let's go to the unit test just to see what, is, what it's expecting from us. So here, a blank string is going to be false because it doesn't have any letters, whereas the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog is a pangram. It's expecting true for this. In this test case, we can tell from the name right here, there is no x in this, so it's expecting that this will return false. And we have some other tests right here. We can notice that some of these strings are going to include spaces and underscores, and that doesn't seem to affect whether it's a pangram or not. So we're going to ignore all the non-letter characters. So this is going to be very similar to what we did for the isogram problem. Let's see, we're going to need some sort of data structure. A set will do quite nicely for the reasons I, I explored in the previous video. So um, we'll just create a set that will track which characters are in. And I will go ahead and I'll just call this sentence that are in sentence. So we're going to have a similar technique that we used in the isogram problem. We're going to have a for loop that iterates over the characters in sentence. And we only want to add uh, the letters to our set. So if the character is a letter, add it to the set. And then after we've iterated through all of the characters, we want to check uh, check if the length of the set is 26, because then we'll know that it has all 26 letters inside of it. So I'm going to fire up Control B to run the interactive shell. So remember how I said that sets were very similar to dictionaries. I'm going to create a small dictionary right here that has a key A and value 1 and another key value pair with b and 2. So note one thing that you can do is you can call the length function and pass it a dictionary, and it's going to return the number of key value pairs. And notice that if I try to assign another value to our dictionary for a key that already exists, just like I already have 1 as the value for the key a, it's going to overwrite that value. All the keys inside of a dictionary are unique. You can't have multiple key value pairs that have the same key. And the same is true of sets. If I just go ahead and create a set right here, and then I add A and B to the set, I can see, okay, here's the set value. It has A and B. But if I try to add A again, it doesn't change anything because the set already has A. So all the values inside of a set are going to be unique. This means that if we keep adding letters over and over and over to Bacon, once the set is 26 letters long, we know that we've put every single letter inside of it. However, we're also going to have to check that we always add only lowercase or only uppercase, because if we start adding both, well, this uppercase A is a different value from the lowercase A, and that's going to throw off our count. So we want to make sure that we only will have to choose either lowercase or uppercase letters to add and stick to that. So try to solve this for yourself, and in the next video, I'll go over my solution.